Welcome to the new energy talk uh, by Wavestone. So we are very pleased uh, to be here today and thanks to the Disruptive Innovation Festival to bro broadcast us. The topic today is about energy automation and how artificial intelligence will disrupt the energy sector. I would like to start with, uh, with you, Guilain, uh, with a simple question. What is the status of uh, artificial intelligence uh, in energy? Where, where do we stand? Well, tough question. Uh, well, actually, I will not uh, make the, the full history of uh, artificial intelligence, but just saying one word today, the situation is quite uh, alarming for, uh, for Europe, at least. Uh, as of today, uh, well, more than 80% of the algorithm of machine learning and artificial intelligence are issued in the United States and now in China. We saw the, the real great plan that they make on, uh, on artificial intelligence. And Europe is dramatically late, uh, well, at least in investment uh, and in skills for artificial it intelligence. So is it, is it too late? The game is over? Yeah, well, ju <laughs> just hang over. We can finish this talk? No, no, no. Actually, the, the, well, we, we are lucky in the uh, energy industry because uh, actually, uh, well, it's not the first uh, realm that uh, have inv invested uh, the, the, well, the GAFA and all the artificial intelligence players. And today, I think it's still time to react mm -hmm. and to build our own uh, artificial intelligence. And we have to do that if we do not want to make us the, uh, well, the car manufacturing sector, uh, where actually today the, 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 the players and traditional car manufacturers are no other, other choice uh, than uh, doing a pact with the devil, and uh, well, which is already uh, also called uh, uh, well, a technological partnership, uh, which uh, allows them to, uh, uh, to uh, give to the, to, to the digital players all the intelligence and to be well, second rank uh, providers that just repair and, uh, and maintain uh, the, the, the cars. Car. So in energy, we are not there yet. Not yet. But we have to react. Uh, and uh, well, actually, it can happen at every stage uh, of the, the, the Russian doll uh, of the energy, which is uh, the, the future of, uh, of energy systems. So it can uh, happen at the, 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 well, the user level, at the home. Within the home, within the house, the Yeah, flats. within the home, uh, within the buildings okay. and, uh, and the plants, uh, within the city. Uh, within the grids, uh, and well, we will see uh, every part of this uh, AI impact on energy. And, uh, and uh, at last, we will try to identify what to do. Okay, sounds promising. And uh, maybe we we'll start with, uh, with you, Sylvain, uh, within the home, with the citizens, customers. What will uh, be the change brought by artificial intelligence? Yeah, sure. Uh, thank you, uh, Jean-Baptiste. Um, artificial intelligence, um, is very promising for uh, customers and offers a lot of opportunities uh, in your daily life uh, to better uh, use your energy. And the opportunities are in at least three areas, a client relation with your energy supplier, um, demand uh, with flexibility and uh, supply uh, with the local energy markets uh, you can build. So on the, for the client relation, um, actually artificial intelligence can help you as a customer to chat and interact 24-7 with your energy supplier uh, thanks to chatbots. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so what kind of questions would you ask to your energy suppliers with, well, the, with this uh, chatbot? Basically whatever you want. For example, you can ask why, why do I pay so much or why, uh, how can I reduce my electricity bill and, and why, why this month uh, I paid more than last month? And then the, the is, it a re is it a dream or is it real today? Is there any... Well, it's, uh, it's, it's beginning, it's starting, but we already see some examples like uh, Joe uh, Le, Le Bot from Direct Energy, a supplier in France, okay. uh, which are on the market and available already. You can download it on, on Facebook if you want and you can ask um, basic questions of your energy consumption and the, the bot can help you uh, to reduce your bill. Uh, and I think it's really interesting and the potential of it is, is huge. And your, your second point was about the, the demand and how it uh, helps optimizing the demand. What is the, what is the promise uh, with this respect? So, uh, in the future, you're in your home, all your objects and equipments and stuff will be integrated in the Internet of Things. So everything will be connected and um, 
a piece of software uh, using artificial intelligence can monitor all those equipments to make them work at the right time. Mm -hmm. um, for example, uh, you have uh, Alexa uh, on, on Nest of Google. They, they can, in the future, mm -hmm. um, um, process all this data and help you um, to, to make better decisions uh, to use your, your, your equipment. So they know your habits, uh, which temperature you want, uh, when you're home or uh, not home, yeah, exactly. and uh, then they, they manage the equipments. Exactly, uh, they, they will in the future and they can learn, uh, thanks to machine learning algorithm, okay. uh, what do you like, what do you want, what do you prefer. And we already see some examples like uh, the Reiko Smart Sprinkler, mm -hmm. which is um, watering your garden at the exact moment when you need it, uh, adapting to the current weather or, or the season uh, using AI. Does it monitor the growth of your grass to, to know also when you have to, to cut it? <laughs> I don't know about this, but maybe in the future. I mean, we can. what's exciting about AI is that we can imagine almost everything okay. that could be possible to help you and, and improve your, your daily life. Sounds good. Your thir you, you said you had three points. What is the, the third one? The third one is um, AI for prosumers, which are uh, consumers with generating capacity. Um, if you want to consume your own energy and then sell the surplus to your neighbors, it, it looks like sci-fi, sci but now it's even possible and we see some experiments in the world. Uh, one example is Brooklyn, which is a microgrid in New York. And uh, using smart contracts in the blockchain Ethereum, you can actually uh, trade your energy in the, in the neighbor. And, uh, and this is really in interesting. So in the end, uh, the, all the amount of data, the tons of data that uh, these uh, new systems uh, um, emerge is, is processed by AI and can optimize and reallocate the, the, the resources among the, the new players. So you've talked uh, about the, um, the customer relationship, the demand, the supply. Uh, maybe I would like to add another topic that you did not mention, the intelligent storage uh, in the home. Uh, you've probably uh, seen that last week, uh, Eaton, which is an, uh, an energy uh, company from the US, announced a new, new offer based uh, X-Storage Home with uh, Nissan. So basically the idea is to install uh, in the house uh, a storage and this can be uh, power storage from, uh, your, um, from your car uh, and you use it and it's smart which means it knows when it is best to um, store energy from your solar panel mm -hmm. or when it is best to sell it to the grid because the energy cost is high or when it is uh, nice to share it with your, uh, with your, with your uh, neighbors and so on. So they use also artificial intelligence more and more in this, uh, in this equipment and they are going to uh, provide more and more uh, services. So I think it's also uh, an interesting um, topic. And coming back to, to energy uh, efficiency in the home, we have the same topic in, uh, in buildings and in plants. So we see lots of uh, startups uh, they put lots of sensors, IoT, and they gather data to understand the, the habits and uh, how the industrial process work so that they, uh, they are able to automatically change uh, the habits or the process to reduce the energy consumption or to uh, even sell the, the energy to the market, uh, whether it, it is on the energy market and the flexibility market. So. Uh, artificial intelligence in the buildings and in the plants is also uh, also very promising. When we when we look back, uh, homes, building, plants. If we, we tap, uh, t take a step uh, uh, aside, uh, what about the cities? And uh, <laughs> what is the promise of artificial intelligence in the cities? Well, it, it, good promise. Uh, actually, if you look outside the window, you will see that uh, we are not yet uh, yeah. to the to the smart city. You think pollution and bad weather? Too. Yeah, pollution, bad weather, traffic. So, so there is a lot of uh, of work to do to to reach the smart city. But actually, the, the the energy part of the smart city is one key part, and we can see today that local authorities of big cities are, are really working a lot on optimizing the energy for the city, on using the urban lighting. To uh, well to optimize consumption, but also uh, to 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 be a captor of pollutions of traffic mm -hmm. and to propose uh, optimization of everything. So this is a real important.
important part of the smart city. And, and is it only big cities like uh, London, Paris, or also small or medium cities? What oh. kind of cities are smart? The, 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 the real big complexity about uh, huge cities is that, uh, well, it's complex to make decisions, it's complex yeah. to, to, uh, to, uh, be, to, to get together all the players. Uh, uh, and so it's, um, well, much lower than in uh, medium cities okay. where they can take all the, the issue globally and, and we can see that uh, cities like Dijon in France, Albuquerque in Mexico are quite in, in advance in that smart city topics and, and especially in the, in the energy part. And this is because they can take decisions quite quickly and they can pass uh, from the, well, the communication part, uh, the, the to experimentation the part to, to the real project and real use of the, uh, okay. of the uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, yeah. So that's about cities. Yeah. Um, what about uh, grid operators, energy players? How do they take advantage of artificial intelligence? What, what, what can they do? Yeah, well, it's, it's another key player of the of how the uh, artificial intelligence could change energy world. Uh, it's for uh, for um, well uh, energy operators like uh, uh, distribution or transportation network. Uh, and actually, there is three domain where they can work. Uh, well, they work on the first one is to uh, to optimize the capex mm -hmm. and to see what kind what what part of the network I, I must change this year on or in five years. And you can use data. Uh, to uh, make predictive behavior of the network and see where mm -hmm. you, you must invest and where you can wait for. Uh, if, you, if you check af, uh, on your invoice, there is a good part of the invoice that is due to uh, transportation. You mean my invoice, my energy your, bill, yeah, how much I pay each month? Part of it is due to the transport and distribution. Well, uh, well you're not fully independent in terms yeah. of energy. A well, good part of it is, uh, is due okay. to, to transportation and distribution networks. And we can optimize a lot uh, investment in that, in that network. And that's one one first uh, topic. The second one is to uh, react uh, the, the in the best way when you have an incident on the uh, on the network. the network. And today, all the transportation network providers are working on um, uh, dispatching optimization, real time optimization. See, well, learn from uh, thousands of events of the past to see what is the best reaction to one given uh, event, and and proposing that to the dispatcher that can uh, that can act. And uh, uh, as a third point is the well, the most obvious today, uh, systems are more and more complex, as we can see with the Russian dolls. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, 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 the responsible of the demand response of the global network must be more and more precise on demand and response uh, capacities and be predictive on that. So you have to analyze uh, more, more uh, deeper the local uh, behavior of the network to see what will be produced and what will be consumed mm -hmm. uh, everywhere and to, uh, to, uh, well, to balance the network in, in, in real time. So that's pretty complex. So three, uh, three major topics, uh, investments, incidents, and... Uh, demand response, response balancing, yeah. Mm. So, um, so we've seen there is a high, uh, high potential uh, in the homes, in the cities, in the plants, in the grid. So I, I understood that we're late in terms of investment in, uh, in Europe. So what, uh, I am an energy player. What should I do? Uh, what are the next action I, to, I should take in the, in the next month? Yeah, well, uh, actually, there is no one given recipe to, to, to manage this transformation. But, uh, but I can tell you what you must not do. OK, <laughs> let's, uh, let's start from that. <laughs> the first thing is saying, OK, I'm not Google. So I will not be able to uh, to reach the gap, uh, uh, to fill the gap, and uh, and uh, well, the the the, um, uh, the situation is lost. Mm. So I cannot do anything. So this is not true. Actually, you have to invest on on artificial intelligence, and even if they well, are much in advance, mm. you you can do things. Second thing is so se it's basically believe in yourself and just yeah. do it and yeah. uh, do it internally and not only with uh, with big partners. Yeah. Okay. So what is your second point? <laughs> so, uh, my, my second point is uh, about startup. Today, I heard too much. If I want to accelerate an AI transformation, I must do that with. The, start, the startup. Uh. So that could be a good point in some points, but uh, today you have to build your own uh, artificial intelligence, meaning you have to develop 
uh, algorithm of machine learning, artificial intelligence, to be able to understand what's really going on and to not just buy the black box mm. of the startups that uh, they will be able to resell to your uh, competitors. So you so need to, to set up research centers and yeah. uh, invest into to, uh, data to scientists and so on. Exactly, you need to invest in data scientists because actually this is a new part of your business. Yesterday you were just uh, an energy provider or an energy uh, tr transportation operator mm -hmm. and tomorrow exactly. you will be that and also a uh, soft editor. So you will, be you will have to be able to develop soft and to, and to develop your own artificial intelligence. Uh, the startup is not a bad thing, but uh, when, you when you work with a startup, think uh, uh, of will you, will you accept this, the resale, the solution they developed on your data to your competitors. So that's the good, uh, the good way if to analyze. If you need a competitive advantage, you, you should tr try to do it internally. Make it yourself. Not yes. to provide this advantage to, uh, to, to other competitors. Exactly. And you said you had three points in uh, three, three uh, challenges. So what is uh, the yeah. third one? Well, well the, 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 third, the third one is that, uh, just to make it positive, IA is not everything. Meaning, uh, uh, well, wh wh what proposes the GAFAMI and, uh, and other AA players is uh, only based on uh, data science and, and uh, artificial intelligence. You have other uh, strengths. Uh, you have people on the field. Mm -hmm. uh, you have uh, uh, customer proximity, intimacy. Uh, so try to combine uh, artificial intelligence with your own strengths. And that only you can do that. So, uh, so this is maybe the, the path you, you should uh, experiment, but you need to be strong on AA to be able to see what are the good combinations with your uh, specific strengths and this new uh, realm. Okay, so if I get it right, uh, believe in yourself, just do it, uh, invest in data science, uh, to get a competitive advantage and uh, leverage on the strengths you have uh, already. That is uh, the message we want to give to the, to the energy players. Exactly. And uh, we hope they will, uh, they will like uh, these uh, advices. Uh, thanks all for being with us uh, today. We hope we, uh, you enjoyed it. And uh, we hope you will be there for the next talk uh, that will be available on our uh, YouTube channel by Wavestone.